today, what we are going to do is unbag this bad boy. Now, uh, I got this off of Facebook Marketplace. This, uh, I thank the sellers so much for being so generous with the price on what they were selling these for. And so, uh, so yeah, this is a lot of tools in a big bag. And so just for a uh, size comparison, when it comes to uh, uh, the bag you get now, so yeah, it's, uh, it's, this bag is huge. So I can't wait to unbox it, clean up the tools, and uh, see if they, see on how they perform. So let's get to it. Let's unbox this, uh, you know, let's unbag this. Alrighty, so this, this thing is heavy, by the way. This thing is really, really heavy. Look at that. All right, so we have the the 18 volt wet dry tough sucker by uh, Ryobi, the blue uh, from, from the blue line. We're gonna have to take that apart, clean it really quick, and uh, and yeah, see how uh, she uh, see how she works. Sorry, the, the model number for this is P710. Model number for this is P710. All right, so let's pop a battery in this. I do not have any of the old 18 volt batteries, which I'm gonna I'm gonna need some. The new batteries do work, and this is operational. Very good. We have the 18 volt uh, circular saw. It has a it looks like it has a laser on their laser guide assist, and the model number for this. Where's the model number? It doesn't say the model number on it. Let's dust it off really quick. I'm sorry. I'll look up. I'll I'll look up online, and I put the model number. Uh, in right now, uh, I cannot find the model number, but it is. It does have a laser. Let's see if this works. Yes, it does. Oh. The button for the laser is up here. I'm assuming. I don't know what's on, what's on. I don't think the laser works anymore. That's all right. We, so we have the five and a half inch circular hand circular saw. We have a one plus Ryobi palm sander. Let's see if that works. Yes, it does. The model number for this one is P400, P400. Very good. We have the Ryobi uh, One Plus Jigsaw. Model number for this is P520. Of course, it's 18 volts. Let's see if, it, uh, if it's uh, old batteries work. Yes, it does. That's on one. That's on two. Very good. We have the Ryobi One Plus reciprocating saw. Model number for this is P510. Very good. Let's see what the, let's see if it's operational. Yes, it is. Very good. And we got we got some accessories in there for the vacuum. Got some Oh, there's a whole thing in there. 
There's some there's stuff underneath the this I think. And then we got this. And look at that. We got the flashlight, model number P700. Let's see if this bulb is operational. Yes, it is. Very good. And last but not least, we got the Ryobi drill. The one that has an angle to it. Ooh. Definitely old school technology. I'm curious to see on how uh, powerful. <laughs> What's the... I, this 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 won't be a test to see how powerful it is. This is a test to see what the limit of this is. Very good. Very good. And of course, we have a charger, which we actually don't need that because the chargers that we have now uh, charge a lot faster than this does, and they run off of all the same batteries. So I actually could get rid of that. Now I got all this stuff for fifty one dollars. Like I said, the sellers were extremely generous with the price, you know, for the tools that you get, and I thank them so much for that in case if they are watching. But yeah, this is this is awesome. I love these I, I love these tools. I cannot wait to put these to the test. And and compare them to see what the new school what the new new school of technology is. You know what I mean? I can't wait to put that to the test. This used to be the type of drill that I would use on the construction site in the uh, early 2000s. I remember this drill. Not this specific one, but I remember I had to use this model of drill. And the old school batteries lasted approximately like 30 screws just because the battery technology wasn't there back then. And there we go. Just for some things I'm going to have to use a Q-tip for, but I'm going to clean the rest of these tools and get back. Alright, so I got everything cleaned up. Everything looks so much better. And uh, I can't wait to play with these. Uh, these these are going to be my play tools. So we're just, uh, just based on this purchase, I have an additional automatically at least 16 more videos to do with these. The, these are awesome. I can't wait to test this, uh, test these out and compare them to the tools, the, the newer versions of the tools. Like example, a versus video, see which one works. This is a wet dry vac, so it has an advantage. So I can't wait to do these videos. This thing, these are, these are awesome. They're old school, you know, back when this, these first came out, you know, the technology was there enough to be able to do stuff uh, very well, but not nearly as powerful as they are today. You know, Ryobi back then wasn't that great of a company, you know, compared to, because their stuff would uh, always break down, but they, sir, but they, the company grew, got bigger, got better, and now that they, uh, they learned from their mistakes, so they made better designs, and now they have extremely powerful tools that actually compete against DeWalt, Milwaukee, uh, and all the other brands. And so, yeah, so I can't wait to test these out. And so, yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be fantastic. It's gonna be great. So please subscribe to the channel, check out, do it, uh, dad it yourself. And so, yeah, it's awesome. It's awesome. I love my tools. So plenty of uh, videos coming up. So this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.